Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about your origin of insects. Here we are going to discuss about when arthropods came, when insects came. This arthropods that is the phylum. So what is the largest phylum? Okay. Then if insect came, how many years ago insect has been found? Okay. And what are the different orders are there? Which are the largest one? Those things we'll understand. understand so here you see arthropods have evolved during this cambrian period very very important which may come in the exam remember that arthropods have evolved during which period that is your cambrian period very very important okay next one is arthropod is the largest phylum of invertebrates it this question may come among invertebrates or among whatever the phylum are there out of that arthropod is the largest one that is the very very important one you have to remember Next point here you can see arthropods are schizocoelomate. What is the meaning of that? Silo means what? This body cavity. Yes or no? Huh? This is the what your body cavity. Here you can see this is the body cavity. Okay. With some ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. That is not required. Body cavity. All the arthropods have the body cavity. That is the important thing you have to remember. Okay. Where uh, this gut will be there, there at the center. Then this body fluid will be coming. Dorsal blood vessel and all. Those things will be there. We will discuss in the physiology. Next one is what? When insect came. Insects have orig originated during which time you you see? Devonian period of Paleozoic era. Very very important Devonian period of Paleozoic era which may come in the exam. Next one. When this insects came into existence. That is your what? 250 to 500 million years ago. Somewhere it is also written as 350. But you should uh, increase the range 250 to 500 million years ago. That is during your Devonian period. Devonian period. Very very important. Next one you see the earliest known fossil insect this may come in the exam which one is the earliest known fossil insect that is your what Rhinella precursor very very important which may come in the exam that belongs to which order the order is your columbola okay we'll discuss all of the 29 orders this Rhinella precursor that belongs to which order your columbola order again during which time again that time Devonian period okay in which area Scotland and this this was Discovered by whom? Houston Molik in 1926. They have discovered that? No. At that time, during that Devonian period, Rhinella precursor was there. Okay. And by the end of this upper Carboniferous uh, period, what happened? All of this modern group of insect came. This butterfly, beetles, wasp, all those things came. All those insects came. <laughs> Next one is the insects constitute the largest class not only of the animal kingdom but also of the whole living world. Okay, they constitute the largest class. Okay, in the animal kingdom, if you see more than 85% contributed by your insect group only, and there are total number of 9 lakh species. 9 lakh insect has been till now described. Okay, on, on these insects. Okay. If you think about the order wise, which is the most diversified one, then first will come your Coleoptera, then your Lepidoptera, then your Hymenoptera, at last Diptera will come. Okay, Coleoptera followed by Lepidoptera, Hymenoptera and Diptera. Okay, due to such kind of structural, developmental and protective characters, they are becoming the abundant one, dominant one in the animal kingdom. The last slide, you see what are the connecting links, that means annelids were there, arthropods are there which one is the connecting uh, organism which one is the connecting insect insects were there millipedes were there, which is the connecting organism that means where uh, you can tell uh, from one group the characters are reducing in another group the uh, characteristics are representing yes or no that means this is the link in between these two kind of class two kind of phylum or whatever two kind of order or suborder or supra order whatever it may be okay or this group okay so you see in between annelids and arthropods this velvet worm or your walking worm this one huh? this is what your connecting link okay that is your peripatus it belongs to which of phylum onigophora next one is in between insects and your millipedes this one huh? jepigids jepigids huh? order is what diplura okay or diplura Okay, that is a connecting link. Similarly, in between Epteragota and Teragota, what is the difference? Epteragota means they do not have the wings. Insect do not have wings. Teragota means insect they have wings. So, what is the connecting link? You see this one, Lepismatidae, Thysonora. This is the connecting link between them. 
Next one is what ephemeral raptor, mayfly, dayfly, and odonata, dragonfly, damselfly. What is the connecting link in between them? That is your this permethomis. That is your acodonate fossil. Okay. And if you see orthopteral group and hemipteral group, what is the difference? Major orthopteral means grasshopper. Those things will come. Okay, grasshopper, katydids, then this uh, our uh, praying mantid. Okay, cockroach, your wig. So many will come. Huh? Orthopteral group. Another one is what hemipteral group, like your aphid, jasid. Scale insect, okay, millibugs, they will come, okay, bugs, okay. So orthopter means what? Chewing and biting type of mouth parts, and you know, hemipter means they have the sucking type of mouth parts. So what is the connecting link in between them? That is your joraptera, okay. Joraptera is the connecting link between orthopteral group and your hemipteroid group, okay. So I hope you understood most of the things. So what you need to remember here when arthropod came. When insect came, when they have originated, in which period, in which area, who has discovered, what is schizocoilomates, and what are the connecting links, and otherwise, coleoptera, leptoptera, hemoptera, diptera, like this you have to remember, which may come in the exam. Okay, so I hope you understood. Nothing is that you have to remember by heart. Okay, so thank you. Have a nice day.